so the javascript library is to integrate everything into what they need and the future and then uh, to, to put it uh, into the javascript libraries even though i didn't use everything but only simply one one javascript library is to build the uh, graphs in canvas graphs javascript library jquery libraries yeah so and the time theme and themes and default this is the default uh, style uh, css classes from the open layers and then some images from the from the from the open layers and then my, our our classes and google maps style layers as you can see the uh, so <clears throat> so then now we start the the really complete development what i mean that's that's you see the the lot of functionality that i'm here using and then uh, using here some some dynamic javascript functionality this is our customs javascript libraries that's i wrote it here and this is our main pages that's i that i show you i will show you the main pages and then there's the, all the possibilities for the web pages let's let's open the the the, um, the main html page in the with notepad So you see the the notepad. So we have very simple HTML tags. Uh, but uh, by the way, I am not too expert in the in the font development. Basically, I am the API or the backend developer. But I tried my best to to come up and uh, best way, by easy way to to give it to you the proper ideas. So you see the 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 HTML tags and then titles, and meta informations, UTF-8, and then this is our JavaScript library injection. So open layers JavaScript libraries. So you see that this the JavaScript libraries that you are using here into the your directories JavaScript libraries. They need to be inject and this is the open layer libraries into this level yeah, where there is HTML page located and then all the it's a structure. So you see when you download the JavaScript uh, the, uh, the open layers libraries it's automatically build the structure and then you can put it your necessary JavaScript libraries into the, the this structure this way then you can communicate this one. So, so we, we inject the JavaScript libraries that's here, and then this is our jQuery library injections that's in locally. That's I have it locally, but even though you can go to the in the browser level, and you can call the from the browser the URL set. But I have it the the locally uh, download the JavaScript libraries and call the locally. That's because this is a good good one. When we internet is really slow, then it doesn't work properly. What I mean. That's why I put it my all the JavaScript libraries in my directories in the local Hadrix and then put, use this from there and then put it in the in the in the future. But even though you can go with the browser, so it's a JavaJS library, jQuery library, and this is our plots. You see that the plots, the our lot of the libraries, jQuery plots, pi, pack, dot js libraries to integrate to JavaScript libraries. So this is the graph libraries that I have it in here. The yeah uh, this is my customs maybe i think so this is my custom javascript libraries so i if i go this is the javascript libraries graphs so notepad so it's the very simple javascript libraries this i need to uh, to explain you a little bit more this one so i i wrote down the very simple uh, javascript functions but you need to idea how how can you write that javascript function but i know you know get it what i mean you it's just a very simple javascript function that write down the graphs js and then put it everything so i have a graph functions i have some very bar data sets and items i have that so you see the the the, the that's i said this explanation the hard coded data that's i put it here but but i give it to you a very really very a basic idea how can you start build this graphical functionality with static data but in the in the in the real life application this data coming from the other services maybe this service is called build this dynamic hill data sets in the real life real application but you got the real structure how it is mean but data is the really static data that's the that's the difference between the the real application and the dummy applications the give it to idea so i write down the functions graph functions it has a levels it has the data informations and then it has jquery functions and i plot the uh, my my pi mop pi graphs and then it's items and then show the, all the attributes the properties of the building these graphs i mean the the show or not show and the colors and then pi graphs radius and then offset a center offset tops and then those things together levels and then functions and then it's legendary topped and show position top and then the all things together that's i mean that here you see the the all static layers and then this is the extra 
graph functions coming this the the graph js like uh, javascript function that's i customize function that's i wrote uh, with the mm, wrote and that this my function is using the jquery plot libraries and uh, javascript libraries and then very simple graph building functionalities to customize but this function you need to write down yourself to be used with the help of other uh, other, other javascript libraries and then these libraries need to be called that i said this is the library call so graph libraries explain and then i i already fall css style sheet and this is the other javascript libraries that's i wrote so this is the your javascript library that's your functions you wrote and then this is your javascript function and all things for your site and this is the integration part i will show you i will detail discuss this this part of the development so let's see open the these three four javascript library files so wsm google maps template test and dynamic station layer dynamic link layer dynamic station point layers that's i mean here the dynamic station layers this is the points layers and then and the link layer means this is the link of the of the link layer of the dynamic link layer functionalities so let's open the the the, the libraries that's i mean the dynamic uh, dynamic uh, dynamic station layers javascript functionalities and then we have the link layer dynamic functionalities and then uh, what's next uh, points and then you need also the links uh, and then you also need the the switcher no, map switcher function you don't need it but and here this is the our you know this this is this one i need it to so that means uh, here if i go to the again the html page so we need uh, our customs uh, customs uh, javascript library or functions that's that's need to be do this one so if i open the javascript libraries it is very simple i define the map variables and then i give it the function names exactly once very simple this javascript library has only single very simple functions it has a point features and then i set the 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 coordinate point map center points and new open layers geometry points this is the central coordinate points and then transform the coordinates uh, point from epsc 4 to 26 to the 40 to the 19 because uh, 9 900 9 913 because this is the standard position system for the osm open street maps and uh, it's global standard and this is the google specific uh, because uh, i use the google map functionalities that you need to transform the two projection systems because open street maps and then you need to be transformed the google maps and uh, that's why i need the transformation among the between the the open street maps projection system to the google maps projection system otherwise it doesn't come to the to the to the you you your location or your maps cannot load it properly or you cannot you cannot overlap the properly you 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 overlay layers so location of a marker pop-ups is usually think of the beaver coordinate system this is the standard or standard or, or general systems but then the projection systems but the map is projected in this this projection systems it is right but uh, no it is uh, no it is it, it is not so you can do you can write down here the same projection systems that I mean that. So it is it has a Google Map projection systems and you 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 you, you load the open street map Google Maps so open street maps and Google's the Google Street Maps and then Google hybrid maps you see the Google's and then you have the types this is the base types and then you have the parameter like the Google Maps the map types hybrid and Google Criterion maps the same exactly the same thing same service call uh, open layers layers the google and type is the terrian maps and this is the uh, same name same levels you can what you like to do the same levels and this is the satellite maps from the here so when i go to this one so this is the open street maps that's true the base open street maps and this is the open uh, google maps uh, base maps base layers maps and then this is the hybrid maps you see the hybrid maps google 
and this is the terrian maps the terrian means means they have the elevation of 